Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. School la padikum bodo elementary school la katura galle erdu chunduvanga. Apdi katura galle erdu bodo oru oru payan bande channa martha padhi 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 chitu pona. Ana aunga ketta kelvi bande pasumada pati katura erdu gaya apdiin sulir naanga. Aunga ke அது ஒன்றும் தெரியல அவன் படிச்சுட்டு போல அவன் என்ன பண்ணான் தென்னை மரத்தை பற்றி எல்லாத்தையும் எழுதிட்டான் எல்லா இந்த பலனெல்லாம் இப்போ சார் சொன்னபடி தென்னை மரத்தில் ஆயிரம் பலன் இருக்குன்னு எழுதிட்டு கடைசியில் இந்த ம இந்த பசு மாட்டை இந்த மர தென்னை மரத்தில் கட்டி வைக்கலான்னு எழுதிட்டான் ஸோ லைக் தேட் ஐ நோ ஒன்லி அபவுட் டயாலிசிஸ் ஸோ த டாபிக் டுடே இஸ் எமர்ஜிங் பிஸ்னஸஸ் I've been in this dialysis field for the last 40 years. That's the only field I know. So I'm going to talk to you about dialysis. There's a great opportunity in India for dialysis. India needs about 1 million dialysis machines. Today, we have only 25,000 of them in India. Each machine costs approximately about $10,000. Imagine if you're going to buy 1 million dialysis machines in the next 5 to 10 years, how much revenue we are going to lose to foreign countries. So there is a huge opportunity in India to make medical equipment. I know Indian government is supporting and uh, encouraging medical parks, but there's a big opportunity and I invite you all to look into it. The same way, there's a great opportunity for medical disposables. You all know what happened during COVID period. There was a huge shortage of medical disposables like gloves and masks. Everybody was scrambling and the price shot off the roof. During COVID period, I bought gloves, which is normally sold at $3 a box at $8.50. Because the demand was so much, I bought huge stock and got stuck with it. Today, we are selling at $3. During COVID period, none of the medical disposable was available, like the gowns, lab coats, shoe covers, um, hair nets, buffon caps. All these disposables are generally made in China and USA and other European countries are depending on China. But the supply chain was disrupted, everybody had problem, and now all of them are looking at different direction. They are not in favor of China. I know India cannot beat the Chinese price and quality at this time, but the opportunity is there. All other Western countries are looking at India and this is the time to get into manufacturing and we should, we cannot beat China, we cannot become number one, but at least let's become number two in supplies of these medical disposables. And then, uh, of course, there is a big opportunity in medical tourism. It, it's a very good emerging field, though it's been there for 10, 15 years. Still, there is room. Tamil Nadu being one of the leading states in India, we have very good doctors and we should be able to bring in revenue. The government should take a lead in it and put people in all the embassies in developing countries and give them guidance. Now, there is a little bit of uh, medical tourism from African countries. They come to India for heart transplant or heart uh, surgeries uh, cancer treatment or uh, kidney transplants. There are a lot of agents. These agents mislead them and make money out of the system. The money is not going to the hospitals or to others, but the money should go to all the people in all different areas of life. When we bring tourists from Africa and other countries, it is not only the hospitals or the doctors who are benefited. There are other sectors, like when they come, the transportation department makes money. The hotels make money. The restaurants make money. The taxi people make money. 
in general, when, when they go also, they, they do shopping and take a lot of things with them. So in general, everybody makes money and it adds into our economy. So government should take an initiative and promote this uh, in uh, developing countries. So again, uh, talking about tourism, pilgrimage is another thing. People who live in Dubai or um, USA or Europe, they visit India every year. Whenever they visit, they want to go to either Tirupati, or Rameshwaram, or um, Nagur Darga, or Velankani, all those things. That sector should also be given attention and developed. Because every time when people come, they would like to go. So mostly to Tirupati. And um, I, I'm a little selfish in that, that we are losing revenue to Tirupati, so we should develop Kanjipuram, Rameshwaram, and uh, Trichendur, and all those places, and increase tourism, so that way we don't lose our revenue to the neighboring state. And in, in pharmaceuticals, Gujarat is leading. Um, I'm happy that India takes credit for it, but as a Tamilian, I think that credit should come to Tamil Nadu. We, we are little behind Gujarat. Most of the pharmaceutical items come from Gujarat. We should also take lead in that sector and start manufacturing all pharmaceutical items in Chennai. For now, the saline water is mostly made in North India. The few companies we had, they've been closed in Chennai, and we should restart them and get the industry back into action. So there are a lot of other businesses we can get into in the medical field, but I'll, I would like to keep it short. And uh, I thank Dr. Sampath for this opportunity, and I thank you all for listening to me for this last few minutes. Thank you.